In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a blog article authority style ad just like this one inside of Premiere Pro. Hey guys, my name is Persh. I'm the creative director at AdzerX. And now that you know me, let's jump into Premiere Pro and get this done. So I'll start by creating a new 4x5 sequence. In the new update of Premiere Pro, this comes in as a preset. So 4x5, 30 frames per second. Click OK. For our background, I'm going to create a new color mat. Click OK and I'm just going to make it white. Click OK again. Bring it onto our timeline. And I have the ad here opened up just for reference. And now let's start to construct our ad together. So we are going to go to our rectangle tool and just create a line here for our header just like so. Perfect. Now we need to bring in our logo. So I'm just going to quickly go to Google and bring in the Wall Street Journal logo. So I have my logo here. It's too big. I'm going to go into my FX control and scale it down and place it here like so. I think this looks good. Perfect. And now we need to create our icons. So for this, I'm using the rectangle tool again. I'm just going to simply create a line like so. Let's bring it in the beginning of a timeline. I'm just going to duplicate it two times and I'm going to go to my bottom one and bring it on the bottom like so. Go to my top one and bring it on the top like so. I'm quickly going to nest all three of them to keep things organized. I'm just going to name it icon one. And now to resize it, I'm going to go to my scale and uncheck uniform scale. And now I can control the height and width separately. So if I decrease the width, I can control it like so. And if I increase the height, I can control it like so, which is perfect, exactly what we want. So I'm going to make it something like this and then reposition it where I would like it to be perfect. And then I need a search icon as well. So for this, I went on Google again and I found this icon. I'm going to quickly bring it into my timeline. Again, we are going to reposition it how we would like. So I'm going to make it really small like so. And then bring it over here. And let's also make this icon smaller. So I'm happy with this. One thing that I forgot to do was my first icon here, it's kind of a gray color. So I'm going to quickly open my nested layer, go to my essential graphics, select my shape and choose the fill to be black. And I'm going to repeat the same process with the other three layers. So guys don't make the same mistake as me. Perfect. Now we already have our header. Now we need some text. So I'm going to go to my text tool, type in my text. So I'm just going to type in your headline here. I'm going to select everything and change the fill to black so we can see it. I'm going to change the font to Montserrat. Let's make it bold. Let's also make it all caps. Perfect. I'm going to make it center aligned and align it to the center of my page. Perfect. Let's decrease the size a little bit and also decrease the leading. I think this would do. You can play around with it and I'm just going to place it here. I'm going to bring all my layers down so we can see it better. Already looking good. So now we need another line. So we are going to create another line using our rectangle tool. And this one I'm going to make it slightly gray. Perfect. And then again it's just a matter of positioning it. You can again use the same trick in the effects control. Select your graphic. Go to scale. Uncheck uniform scale. And then you can adjust the height and width by however you like so i think i'm happy with this i'm just going to move it slightly up perfect i'm going to select my shape layer and align it on the center perfect let's go back to our reference now we need another text so i'm just going to quickly copy this text over and now i'm going to change it to my date or my subheading so i'm just going to type in updated 16 of november make it really really small and then change the fill to a little grayish and then I bring it down like so perfect I still think my line is a little messed up so I'm going to quickly move it up so come into my effects control again and then change the position like so perfect come back to our reference we already have everything we just need a placeholder for our images so for this yet again I go to my rectangle tool Make sure no layers are selected so it's a new rectangle and I'm going to hold shift on my keyboard to make it a square. So once I start dragging, if I hold shift, now it makes it a square. 
so i think this size should be enough and then i just center it up perfect bring it in like so and now we need to start placing images inside of here so how do you do this let me bring in some images into my project and i'll quickly show you guys so i quickly brought in this image of a headphone here and to place it perfectly inside your square what you would want to do is go to your project panel and then drag this photo inside of your essential graphics under your shape layer and make sure you're on the square shape layer that we just created it doesn't look right right now so you click on shape and then you turn on mask with shape and now it's perfectly inside and then you can just come into your photo i'm going to center it and then you can just change the position control scale controls to make sure it's something that you would like and to change this product image throughout your ad you can either create a static ad like this or if you want you can have an image slideshow kind of inside of this square so how you would do this is you would just simply chop in your graphic so let's say every two seconds and then you just copy it and all you would have to do is to delete this image and replace it with another image inside of the second square and it should work flawlessly and voila you're done in this tutorial i'm not going to show you how to animate this but if you guys are interested let me know in the comments and i'll create a tutorial for this and for all of you guys who always want something more we created this exact template inside of premiere pro as a mogut and i'll leave a link in the description for you guys to check it out what's greater is this template allows you for much more customization than what i showed you it's all animated for you it's available in all the main aspect ratios all the controls are responsive so every time you make a tiny adjustment in your logo in your icons in your headline in your product images every time you have to make little adjustments you won't have to go through the hassle of adjusting every little thing it all just works out of the box for you guys and it just doesn't end there at adzerx we have countless templates just like this one for you guys to check out and if you want to level up your own editing game or train editors at your agency to be masters at direct response ads and also be able to join a community of like-minded individuals where we share daily ad inspo and ad breakdowns make sure you check out adzerx in the description anyways guys i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching and ciao